So the other day, I'm on this very sofa practicing the bass. My daughter stops what she's doing. She looks at me and says, Hey, Dad, weren't you playing more popular songs? So I'm like, like what? And she goes, begging. It's been all over TikTok for the last few months. So I go check it out to see which song she's talking about. Then I go back to her and tell her, Did you know it already existed? She didn't know and she didn't care. So this song, Begging, is the one that I'm going to cover next. Now, I'm going to do the 2017 version by uh, Moleskine, a band that participated in a, I think, the Italian version of um, X Factor. Um, I had heard it before, actually in 2007 there was a hip-hop band called um, Madcon, a Norwegian band, that did that song. But researching this song, I realized that it was actually originally composed in 1967 by a band called The Four Seasons. So it's an honor for me uh, to play this song. It's a testament of how great music can um, carry on through the ages. All right, so this is what the song sounds like. This song has been written in the key of B minor. It actually starts with a descending uh, pentatonic B minor scheme like this all right so b minor that's a b minor pentatonic all right so, and then it's followed by i would say resonating a b a b note four times with passing notes all right so a b flat and b so but the accent is really on the B, right? All right, so let's break down the main bass line of this song, which is in B minor. So it follows the B minor scale, right? All right, so B, 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 D, B, E, 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 D flat, D flat, D flat, E, D flat, G flat, G flat, D, G flat, D flat, A, back to the B, all right? Then the next change in the song for the bass is uh, is really simple. Um, this is it. So you start once again on the B, then G, then D flat, then uh, G flat. Alright, so these are the main parts of the bass line in this song. Um, but as you know, I'm always trying to focus on something very specific that will help me improve my technique as I learn how to play this instrument, the bass. Um, so I decided to focus on two things. The first one is ghost notes. So um, I realized that I feel like <laughs> I feel that when I'm playing the bass, uh, I'm like someone that's learning a language, a second language, all right? Like I'm a, I'm a second language learner and I feel that my accent is a thick accent, all right? People know I'm not, uh, um, this is not my native in instrument, right? And um, so observing um, people that play the bass very well, you know, we see similarities, things that they do that makes the sound 
sound so much more natural. And one of the, the one of these things are playing ghost notes. All right. So instead of doing. All right, which is the mace bass line, I add ghost notes. So throughout the throughout the bass line, I'm always going to be if you look at my picking finger fingers, I'm always going to keep this rhythm. All right. And within that, I play the, the bass line. So Right, so it might be a bit too much. Um, I'm gonna make sure that we don't hear them too loud. Uh, right now I'm on my acoustic uh, bass, uh, so you hear it pretty well. But I'm gonna try to mute it more um, on my um, on my electric bass. All right. And then the second thing I'm gonna be working on um, are chords. I decided to. Um, I'm always, I always find it inter interesting when a bass player adds chords to the mix. So in this song, there are parts where the bass is not playing at all. And um, I'm going to use that section to actually add chords. All right. So there's a section that goes from the, uh, the first chord is going to be the G, the G chord. So, so I delve into uh, many lessons, uh, people talking about chords um, on the SBL or, or website. There are whole lessons on chords. And so uh, I found out there were uh, at least two different types, two different ways to play chords. You can play closed chords, which are um, which contain notes within the same octave. So for instance, this, this G here, so G, so this is the G, this is the third, all right? And this is the octave, all right? So G and G, and I add the third. Now for a chord to be, let's say whole, you usually we use the root note, we use the third, and we use the fifth. However, um like i've like i've learned uh when you use all those chords on a bass very often the sound is muddy it's too thick um not i would say not clear enough so um in this case we only try to keep the essential notes so of course the root and i can add the octave it's the same sound right um uh, but it's 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 absolutely essential to have the third there. Why? Because the third tells you if the chord is a major or a minor chord. If it's a major chord, then um, so like this here. This is this is going to be a major chord if it's a regular third. All right. If it's a flat third third then it's a minor chord. So that's how you create minor chords. You take the third and uh, you make sure it's flat. All right. So this, this would be a minor G. So this is a major G, G major. <laughs> this is a G minor. All right. Okay. So this was for the close chord. You can also play um, open chords. So which contains notes that um, that go over uh, this the space of one octave. All right. So here I have the G, which is going to be the first chord that I'm going to use in the section of that song. Um, and then I'm going to go to to the E, but an E minor. All right. So this is going to be my E, my root note. This is going to be right here. It's going to be my octave and I need to put a minor third. All right, because it's a minor chord. So this is going to be my minor third right here. All right. So, all right. So I'm going to go from the G major to minor to a E minor. 
Then I'm going to go back to F major and I'm going to keep that same shape. So instead of being here, I started on the G here. The F minor is it's the same shape that I keep, but right here. All right, this is going to be my F major chord. So once again, I start from G major, E minor, F major, and I will end with a B minor. That's what I'm going to be focusing on. So ghost notes and chords. So as I learn uh, how to play those chords, I hope to integrate them in more naturally in my bass playing. And the same goes for the ghost notes. I hope they're going to become part of my vocabulary. I hope that my musical vocabulary is expanding. All right. So next week, I'm going to release uh, the bass cover of Begging by Meneskin. Uh, and um, I'm also going to be this time adding uh, back vocals, which is going to play also an important part. So I hope you're going to like my bass cover. Peace. <laughs>